It's my great pleasure and pride to have the Honorable Minister of Public Health, Ms. Mrs. Walda Lawrence, as the Chief Guest today when we celebrate the 149th birth anniversary of the great soul Mahatma Gandhi. It is also my privilege to welcome Honorable Minister of Telecommunication, Mrs. Hathik Hughes, as our special guest who has kindly agreed to release the Gandhi's postal stamps issued by the Government of India to commemorate the occasion of 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, which is going to start from today. Our special welcomes are due to former President, His Excellency, Mr. Donald Ramothar, who has taken time to attend this important function, and his wife, Mrs. Diolachmi Ramothar. The year starts now from today onwards, as far as Gandhi is concerned. Government of India has decided to celebrate the 150th birth anniversary on a larger scale. There will be many events organized by our embassies and high commissions located around the globe. We are, we in the high commission are also planning to organize many events in Guyana and also in the other countries where this mission is accredited, starting from October 2nd this year, before October 2nd next year. Some of the activities I may mention here, release of Gandhi stamps. Today we are going to release the Gandhi stamp, which was which has been already released by Government of India. And uh, Honorable Minister Mrs. Hathi Hughes has kindly agreed to release the stamp today. Translations of collected works of Gandhi, publishing of anthology on Gandhi, vegetarian food festival, planting of trees on World Environment Day, that is on 5th June 2019, promoting Kadi, the attire that Gandhi wore till his death, Kadi as an idea, not only as a government, not merely as a government, digital projection on Gandhi. I would like to uh, inform you that uh, there is a short film that is being uh, projected in Giftland Mall, if any of you go during the next two, three or four days, you can see that film. We are also going to show that film today. Reaching out children in schools. This, these are the things that you know that we would like to do uh, during the course of this year, starting from today. We would greatly expect you to participate in some of the events and energize us by being on the side of us during the other events. I would like to thank you all for participating in today's event in spite of being a working day today. Thank you. Thank you very much. As High Commissioner mentioned, to mark the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, we will now be releasing the commemorative postage stamps. And it is my pleasure to now invite Honorable Minister of Public Telecommunications, Mr. Scott Hughes, and His Excellency, Mr. V. Mahalingam to release the 150th commemorative stamps. Good 
Gandhi went through hell. And I'm only going to quote one area, and that is, well dressed as an Englishman, three piece suit with a stick, topi, and his suitcase. He bought a first class ticket. And what happened with that first class ticket? He entered the first class compartment. Was he treated well? T ticket collector came and said, what are you doing here? <coughs> Don't you see it's written there, whites only. How come you're sitting in this compartment? He said, look, I have a ticket, a ticket. He said, ticket or no ticket, your place is not here. Pick him up manually and threw him on the platform. His suitcase followed. That's how they treated non-whites in South Africa. Mahatma Gandhi was born on the 2nd of October, 1869. He was a man of resilience, courage, wisdom, and diligence, whose work and teaching continue to inspire us. He was a humble man who lived as an exemplary leader and died as a hero, leaving a legacy of goodwill, freedom, peace, love, and unity. Gandhi never fought with guns or fists. He taught us how to fight the nonviolent, peaceful, yet effective fight. Gandhi fought for the freedom over many years to help his country. His ideology is forever etched in the history for nations far and wide to emulate. <laughs> I think that what Gandhi has brought to us, especially as a fledgling nation, especially as a people seeking to forge a path of prosperity, two of the most signal things that stand out to us would be the, the, his principles of nonviolence in the struggle for democracy and freedom for India. Learn as if you were to live forever. This is the profound statement of none other than the great and inspirational Ohandas Karamchand Gandhi, Indian activist who was the leader of the Indian independence movement against British rule. This powerful character, who employed nonviolent and civil disobedience amidst a volatile situation of violence and carnage to champion the cause for India's independence and inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. 149 years have elapsed, but the issues are still very rife globally. Many of the 20th century's most important figures, notably Martin Luther King, Tibet Dalai Lama, and Nelson Mandela, have emulated his methods, shaking up the dynamics of world politics and changing the landscape of its reaction 
to the peoples of the world. And this time we have some certificates and tokens for the winners of the essay. And we would be happy if our chief guest, Honorable Minister Lawrence, would present the certificates and tokens for our first, second, and third place winners. The first place winners, Miss Aisha Ali.